to the 50 most influential women in West Michigan. It's always been a dream to um, mentor and nurture women, you know, in professional work. And I guess an extension of that would uh, be the film series, Equity Talks, uh, making sure that we're thinking about inclusion and uh, equity when it comes to uh, women in the world of work and thinking about um, how that can extend um, to education and educating our youngest children. I have always been very passionate about working with people at the end of their lives. Um, I knew when I sat at my first bedside as a hospice social worker that that was work that was going to bring meaning and um, help me to grow as a person and as a professional. So when I had the opportunity to go to St. Anne's where they had an on-site child care and, and I could really embrace the role of both mother and professional and not feel like I was choosing between. Um, I had to step away from something I was really passionate about. But that turned out to be the best gift I could ever have because my work at St. Anne's led me to the opportunity to work with them to form and begin and grow Emmanuel Hospice. I feel very fortunate to have worked alongside some incredible female leaders in my career. I also feel fortunate to work in spaces where maybe there weren't as many female leaders. It's something that we talk about as a community, as a society, around imposter syndrome and different interpersonal challenges that people, especially women, moving into leadership might experience. But I think we can all do our part as women early in our career, later in our career, to really help bring one another along. I have been really inspired by the concept of rebellious hope. You almost wouldn't think those two words would go together, you know, rebellious being stubborn and obstinate and hope being expectation. But I'm really passionate about being active in our community because I think more than ever we need people to be difference makers wherever their feet are planted with the spirit of rebellious hope. I'm constantly reminded that I descend from resilience. I descend from people that had to act with rebellious hope in the midst of struggle and, and pandemic. And that's in my DNA. I think the biggest change I've seen in West Michigan is really opening our eyes, being really committed to seeing everyone and hearing everyone and making great space for voices um, and welcoming newcomers and inviting people from all over the world through Art Prize and other things like that to come into our home, into our space and provide that hospitality that we're so well known for. Our West Michigan community is like no other. Not only has it provided me an opportunity to run an amazing company, it has also taught me the importance of giving back to others through community service. I've been involved in bringing a new YMCA to the southeast side, helped secure a new building for WIMCAT students. I'm currently serving as the board chair at John Ball Zoo. And in my 15 year tenure there, we've raised over $30 million for capital improvements and new exhibits. And we grew attendance by over 40%. And so when I think about what inspires me, it is being able to bring so much joy back to our Western Michigan community. A civil war in my homeland of Sri Lanka led me to the US and it has opened so many doors for me. My professional journey fortuitously led me to Request Foods, a family owned and operated faith-based company that mirrors my personal values. I love what I do, the people I work with, and the community I serve. And it is such an honor to continue to serve and contribute to the growth and success of the company and the community. All women are not the same. We're not a monolith. So one woman's sort of path to success is not gonna be somebody else's. And I remember, you know, 15 years ago, even probably 20 years ago now, thinking I needed to be like this person because that's where I wanted to go. And what I've realized 
probably in the last five to seven years, is that the only way that you grow influence is not making us all the same, it's by allowing us all to have our own unique and different and fulfilling journey. And when we realize that, and we don't get put into boxes, that's how we actually grow the power and influence in this community. I really wanted to be get beyond my own community. That I grew up in the Dutch community. I wanted to get outside that and get to know leaders and cultures that have been home to West Michigan as long as I have and, and get involved and figure out how I can contribute to it. And it's really it's really formed my ethical imagination and I, um, I'm really, really grateful for it. Well, one of the things that we do at Root is we actually focus on women's health. And when we are approaching the most common women's health hormonal disorders, our approach is to empower women to take charge of their own health. And I think that this message is resonating because our team itself has grown. So we've gone from two people at the start um, to a team of 12 women um, who are working to um, both grow our business, expand our message and, and mission, and inspire other women to do the same. When I moved to Michigan in 2012, my goal was to be a major gifts officer at a large nonprofit in downtown Grand Rapids. But God had other plans. The next thing I know, I was applying for an executive director position at a small nonprofit in northern rural Kent County. I still can't believe that I'm leading this, this amazing organization, um, a place where we empower people to help them, connect them, move them to resources to move them forward. Uh, so many people have given and poured into my life and I think it's so important to give back and pour into others' lives and hopefully be able to mentor and sponsor women, men, everyone because as what's the saying, at too much is given, much is required. I think it's very important to do that. And so I'm here because of so many mentors and so many great people in my life that I think it's very important to give back to the place that has given so much to you. I think you ensure women's influence in West Michigan continues to grow when you look at what's been successful. And I think by women supporting other women and being very intentional about where their influence has made a difference in the community, if you follow that path and do that with the next generation of women who are making choices about where they spend their time and energy, that and that alone helps build that successful path those of us who receive recognition like this continue to bring other women along with us and show, create opportunities for other women, show appreciation for other women that we work with or we live near or we get to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis and really create opportunities for other women who might not have opportunities to be sitting in the seat like this one. So I did not plan on creating my online community of business owners. It more of came about as a fluke. Um, it was a one-time event just to have it for fun. And then we were hearing that people wanted to be part of this thing that wasn't a thing. And so we decided to go ahead and make it something. Grand Rapids based business owners all coming together online to support one another. We have a general understanding that hard work usually takes time and dedication. I've learned that community work takes communication, understanding, and a lot of research, which inevitably is a longer, more emotionally evolved process. Being active within the community helps me navigate which crucial relationships can be created for barrier-free access within the arts. I dream of developing responsible and sustainable environments for entrepreneurs so that we can live in a world that is empowering to artists to pave pathways for social innovation. Our relocation from uh, Kansas to Michigan 27 years ago and what that was was a job offer from my husband that brought our family here and the rest is history. I mean through that I was able to um, get my foot in the door at DK Security several years ago and uh, developed a great relationship with John Kendall who was one of the founders as well as Bob Duhadway and the rest is history. 
My mom was really just the example for me and you know, she mentored me and she set that example for me to get where I'm at right now. And I never thought I could own a business. I said, if I have an ounce of what she has, I would certainly get to where I'm going to be. I was so thankful she gave me that example and that mentoring. Uh, this is all for her. But this community invites you uh, with all of the opportunities to, uh, well, give to your four-legged friend institution, your institution that, that asks to help others who are possibly in need of a, a meal. Um, I serve on the board for the Girl Scouts. I was a Girl Scout, so let's pay that forward. Um, I love theater, so why not join the Circle Theaters board to, to give back and, and to share? So. It's, it is giving back, it's helping others, but it's also knowing that I'm going to get from this community by the friendship, the people that we are helping build this community to be even greater than it is. So I actually got laid off um, from a teaching job and that is when I first started to really truly think about having my own business. And then with the support of the community, I mean, I was just blown away by all the different resources I found for women in the community. You know, we have Spring GR, there's Grow, there's Start Garden, there's so many opportunities and so many people willing to help, um, you know, even the chamber and SCORE, like it's just, it's amazing all the different resources that we have here. You start by leading by example and creating a space where women can show up as their true authentic selves. And also existing as yourself gives them permission to be whoever they wanna to be today, tomorrow, and the day after that. And by showing that level of comfort in who you are, it gives others permission to do the same. When I think about what led me to success, it's been a legacy of my mom. She had nine children, and she just embodied like family, faith, and excellence in everything that we did. And so we live by you know the examples that she set, uh, not just in words, but by everything that she did in her action.